Hi, I'm Sylvina and I'm from Zurich and I'm a blogger. I blog about personal values and about food, health and lifestyle. I had the Instagram account first and it was just about me wanting to share beautiful moments of my life. It was never like a concept that I'm going to have a blog. I never had a business plan. Um, still up to now, I've never made one. I refused to make one because I liked this intuitive approach and this natural approach of not forcing something to happen or trying to plan something to happen. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of dedication. And I, for me, it was only possible because it's my passion. I never once... Um, started to go down this road or started to take this path because I thought that there was going to be some kind of monetary incentive. It was a passionate thing. It was, I want to do what makes me happy or what I believe in. In the beginning, I was just intuitively looking, picking the things that, that I felt emotional about. This was always the biggest, the biggest, um, biggest aspect. And then it was a, a learning experience to find out what emotionally touches me. I'm not gonna bash something because I don't believe in negativity. But there's of course things that I see that I might say, that's not me. So I'm finding ways of, of sharing that whole picture. And that's really what I want to focus on. Vlogging, it's like something you need to have love for. If you don't absolutely love what you do and you have a vision, even if nobody shares your vision, but you have a vision and you feel strong about it, then that's the way to go. And a lot of people that I speak to, they have the, the wrong idea of what it's like. They see a, an opportunity. And it's not about seeing an opportunity. It's about, it's about loving something and following that. It doesn't feel like work ever. It's, it, it blends. It's not, I don't call it work. I just, it's just things that I do. I have failed so many times. And I like to say that um, failure is a bruise and not a tattoo. It doesn't stay forever. Um, failure, it's something, it's, a, it's also a learning process. In fact, I've learned more from my failures than from when I succeeded. And sometimes failure has led me to try again and to succeed. Um, if I believe in something and if I've used all of my good intentions and all of my ethical values and and, and values that I follow and I've gone a certain way, then I will not even really feel bad about the failure. I will laugh at myself. I have things that I put in, in, in my head that I like to follow. For example, uh, I like to say that if I have a glass, if I have a, well, this, you can't see it, how much coffee's inside, but if I have a glass, I'd like to say it's half full and it's not half empty. Um, I like to say that, um, look for what's right in the situation instead of looking what's wrong with it. Um, it's about being positive. It's about taking an approach uh, uh, that is optimistic. I call Zurich my wife because Zurich, it may be not the most beautiful or most spectacular, most interesting, fascinating, seductive city, but it's there with me and it's not replaceable. When I, I might go away, but I always come back. And finally, I will pick Zurich above every every other city. We are so blessed with with the amount of... of uh, opportunities and things we have to do here there's many great clubs bars i love music it's another big love there's some places that have very nice music that i enjoy to go listen to it and there's great food as well and i hope to see you soon again